Hi family, this is Prophetess Nikki. Welcome back to our channel. Thank all of you for tuning back in. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and sharing the videos. Thank you for all of your acts of kindness. Thank you so much for the positive words of inspiration and the prayers that you all are sending our way. We are touching and agreeing with the will of God to be done in your life. We love all of you. God bless you. Now to those of you who are tuned into the channel and you're not subscribed, why don't you hit the red button to become part of our family here and don't forget go ahead and tap the notification bell i pray that god's face will always always shine upon each and every one of you and may the lord always bless you may he keep you and may he prosper you in every area of your life god has empowered you to prosper if nobody has told you this today if you have not heard this glory to god let those who have an ear to hear, let him hear what the Spirit of the Lord is going to say to you. You are in a windfall season. It's a win-win for you. The losses, my gosh, will turn into victories. Glory to God. The losses that you have gone through, God is going to turn those things around for victories for your life. You know why? Because your gift. Are you ready? Are you ready? Your gift is going to make room for you and is going to bring you before important people. Yes, the gift that you have is going to get you noticed. It's going to get you noticed, family, without you even making any effort. The gift that God has put down on the inside of you is going to bring the expansion that you have been wanting. Yes, the expansion that you've been wanting and praying for is going to come by way of what? Your gift at the right time in divine timing. And I can tell you this, before you walk in the fullness, before you can ever walk into the fullness of what has been prophesied over you, over your life, over your marriage, your health, your finances, before you walk in the fullness of what has been prophesied over you, it is going to require patience. It's going to require you to have faith and it's going to require patience. It's going to take time and God is going to show you why you had to go through what you had to go through, people of God. He's going to show you, not now. He's going to show you later. He's going to show you in your tomorrow why you had to endure all the things that you had to endure. Why you had to walk a lonely journey. God is going to show you this at a later time in your life. He is going to give you the answers to the why. Why God? You have asked God, why God? Why me, God? Why, God, when I've done everything that you told me to do? Why, God, did you make me wait so long? Why, God, does it seem like I'm being skipped? Why, God, am I being put on hold? God is going to show you why you had to wait so long. He's going to show you why you had to go through everything that you had to go through, family of God. God has built you different. He's called you to something greater. To whom much is given, much is required. And God has allowed all of it. He's allowed all of your pain. He's allowed every bit of it. And it may be taking longer than what you've expected. It has. It might be. It may be taking longer. It may be just taking a little bit longer than what you've expected. But guess what? You are still going to win. When it's all said and done, you are still going to win. You are still going to be standing on solid ground. It may be taking longer than what you anticipated, but you are still going to get there, people of God. Everything that you have gone through has brought you to your knees. Everything that God allows us to go through it brings us to our knees. It brings us to a place where we can draw closer to God. So this is not the time to get discouraged. And this is not the time to accept. Do not. Do not accept that this is all your life will ever become. 
Don't ever accept the lies that the enemy will whisper in your ear. This is not the time to lose your head. This is not the time to allow the enemy to get in your head. Glory to God. This is not the time, family, to think small. This is the time to press your way. This is the time to elevate your thinking. This is the time to transform your life by the word of the living God. See, this is why God give, a, give us vision. He gives you vision for this very moment. If you are in a tight place, if you are in a real tough place where you can't see your way through, you remember the vision because the vision is for an appointed time. Although the vision may tarry, God tells us to wait for it because surely it will not lie, it will speak. It is going to come to pass. So while you are waiting in this season of your life, continue to grow and allow God to build your character. Don't you allow discouragement to bury your dream and cause you to go down a road of destructive behavior because the enemy wants to send you distractions to get you off course. You are in a win-win situation today. You are in a win-win season. It's a win-win for you. Your gift is going to make room for you. I know you thought it might have been a certain person. My goodness. But your gift is going to make room for you. I can tell you in the long run, your life and the things you have gone through will bring glory to God. You may not can see it now, but look at the bigger picture Everything that you have gone through is going to bring glory to God. What you have been created to do would be the very thing will cause people to remember your name. Did you know that? You will be remembered, people of God. God will cause people to remember you by what he has created you to do in this world. Your gift is going to cause other people to open their heart to God. The gift that God gave you, what is your gift? What did God call you to do? Nurture that gift because people need what you have. Share the gift. We are called to serve, not to be served. Your gift, your talent, your ability that God gave you, my gosh, family, it is going to cause other people to open their heart to God. Just like God gave the gift of Jesus to us, it was a gift. Give your gift to the world so God can be glorified. You won't be able to contain the blessings that are meant for you when you obey God. The blessings that God is going to bestow upon you, you're not going to have room enough to receive. God is going to give you a good measure, pressed down, shaken together, and running over blessing. What are you going to do with the blessing when God grants you a yes to your prayer? That means a level of happiness as well. God is going to give you a level of satisfaction and he's going to give you a level of happiness as well, family. Because when you operate your gift, listen, people of God, when you operate in your gift the way God has purposed it, it's going to always bring you a level of peace. It's going to always bring you a level of happiness and it's always going to bring you a level of satisfaction. Your gift is going to make room for you. Your gift, not a person. Your gift that God has put within you is going to make room for you, people of God. You are in a winning season. It's a win-win for you. Be transformed by the renewing of your, of your mind, family. And don't forget this. Before you walk in the fullness of whatever has been prophesied over your life, it is going to require your faith and it's going to require your patience. Look at Bible prophecy from Genesis to Revelation. Prophecies are still being fulfilled that were spoken thousands of years ago. The prophecy will not fall to the ground if it came from God. If it came from the true, the only true and living God, it will not fall to the ground only follow the voice of the Holy Spirit. Don't follow, don't get counsel from a person who was not born again. I don't care what words that they have. Oh, don't have an itching ear, family. 
Be led by the Holy Spirit. And how would you know it's the Holy Spirit? Because everything has to revert back to the Word of God. If it does not, don't you follow that person. Don't you follow that voice because it is not of God. It is a win-win for you because there are no losses when you are in the kingdom of God. There are no losses. God takes your losses and makes victories out of them. Did you know that? The mess that you have gone through, miracles are going to come out of every mess that you have gone through. My God, give it to God. Let your gift make room for you, people of God. I love all of you. God bless you. Thank you for everything that you all do consistently on a daily basis to bring glory to God's channel here. I mean this from the bottom of my heart, people of God. On this journey, you may get tired, but don't give up on God. Keep your hand in the hand of God and stay hooked up to people who are led by the Holy Spirit. Don't have an itching ear, people of God. Life is not smooth. You're going to have some bumps in the road. Glory to God. You may have to leap over a wall. You may have to jump over a hurdle. Oh, glory to God. But God is right there with you. And he's going to see you through. But you're going to have to go through. God is going to show you why you had to go through everything that you had to go through. He's going to show you why you had to suffer. He's going to show you why you had to suffer alone. He's going to show you why you had to suffer for a long time. He's going to show you why he shut that door. And he's going to give you a better understanding of why he opened a greater door for you, people of God. He's going to show you why he wouldn't let the person answer the phone. He's going to show you when you can handle it, why he allowed that person to turn their backs on you. Everything that God does for you and I, when it is, we are his children, it is for our good. Never forget it. Don't you let nobody else tell you anything different. Whatever God does, whatever he allows, it is for your good. Walk in the spirit so you will never fulfill the lust of the flesh. And I want to thank all of you for supporting the book becoming a master of divine consciousness. You want your life to grow. First, you got to get hooked up to God and you must retrain your mind to the word of God. Your mind is the engine. You tune up your engine just like you do your physical car. You tune up your mind. Glory to God. With the word of God, the word of God will work for you if you work it. But you got to obey God. God judges our heart. Not the outward appearance that people see. Not the cosmetics that people see. Your spirit is who you really are. I love you. God bless you. We are going to talk later if it's the will of the Lord. I love all of you. Don't you ever forget it. God bless you. Share the videos. Bye-bye.